Yo, what is going on guys? Randall Thor19. The new video. Uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, so this video is going to be a Rand's Indie Spotlight. I'm going to be talking about the newly released Rise and Shine from developer. And they have one of the coolest developer names I've ever come across. Super awesome Hyper Dimensional Mega Team. That's the developer of this game. Published by Adult Swim Games. Um, Adult Swim, you know, like I remember watching uh, Adult Swim uh, Cartoon Network, you know, back in the day with uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force and things like that. I'm dating myself now, but let's get into it. So what exactly is Rise and Shine? Well, the store description says, Rise and Shine is a true, and in quotes, thinking gun that combines elements of arcade shooters, bullet hells, and puzzle platformers to create a new blend of strategy and viscera. All right, so basically what this game is, is a uh, 2D side scroller um, with elements of, uh, it's like an action uh, platformer with some light puzzles mixed in. Uh, you know, right off the bat though, right off the bat, this game surprised me and it surprised me in a good way. I had a ton of fun playing this game. I, like the art and the story, no, I'm not even going to say the story, but like what what the kind of the story represents. I almost like kind of saw the story as like Nintendo versus Xbox to a certain degree. And I'm not going to spoil that for people. Like just kind of watch it yourself in the beginning. There's like a Link character and like the king is a, is Mario. And like the space marines are kind of invading Game Earth, which is the name of this place. So I almost kind of like looked at it as like a Nintendo kind of thing versus Xbox. Maybe I was reading too much into it, but it is just one of those things because you always hear Xbox with, you know, the Halo and the Space Marine stuff. I thought it was kind of an interesting thing, but basically the setup is the Space Marines come in to destroy uh, Game Earth. The legendary war warrior who looks a lot like Link dies and passes on Shine, which is the name of the gun, uh, to this, uh, to the boy, Rise, and or is the name of the gun rise, shine and the boy well, either way uh the gun also you know he it allows you to infinitely respawn have infinite bullets like because that's one thing in this game you will die a lot you will die a lot this game is brutally hard on at least your first playthrough it gets easier when you know exactly what types of you know bullets you're supposed to use and the types of things you're supposed to use to kill people but you will die a lot i think on my first playthrough i died 60 times give or take um, but man, this game is fun. It looks great. Uh, in the, the press release I got, they talk about how each uh, area is hand-drawn, illustrated, with no repeating uh, art or anything like that. And it really looks at it. it really, the game really stands out. And, the, and and it looks different. Like, there's three or four chapters, each with, like, four levels. And that's kind of the one drawback of the game, is it has uh, is a little bit short on the shorter side. But man, it's got some really cool boss fights here. I'm fighting the the chapter one boss there is an achievement for beating this guy without getting damaged uh but the bosses are all big they all like require multiple different things to use uh so you you know you shoot him in the face to cause damage while you know trying to avoid his attacks and then when you get him you know his health down to a certain thing you gotta bust out the remote controlled bullet you, you essentially control a bullet and you can kind of you know, you, you got it across the area, and then you press the right trigger to shoot it out. And you'll solve puzzles in the game similar to that throughout the whole game. They get a little more complex as you go, where you control the bullet and you got to go in and out of things and stuff like that. But nothing too difficult. I did really enjoy the boss fights, so each one of the boss fights I thought were really good. This first one, uh, you know, it took me some time to figure out, and I didn't beat them the first, first time without getting, you know, damaged, but I went back to him and beat him pretty easily uh, the second time. But man, I, I, I can't stress enough how much fun I had with this game. Uh, you know, I had no expectations. You know, when you play any of these games, like AAA or Indie, I have no expectations when I go into it, and as soon as I load it up, I could tell from the main menu, I could tell from the music, tell from the art style, the way the game controlled, that I was in for a treat, and it's, and it's a great game. It is an absolutely fantastic game. I highly recommend this game to anybody. It is retails for $15. I think it's worth every penny. Like I said, the only really negative to the game is that you can finish it pretty fast. It is probably a three hour game. Like I said, the levels aren't that very long, but 
what else can I say? It's just a fun game. I, you know, on my rating scales, you guys know 10 being the best, 5 being average, and 1 being absolute dreck. Uh, I would give this game a 7.5. That's how much I really liked it. Almost at an 8. Almost at an 8. But this game surprised me in every way. I liked the story. Even though it was basic, I kind of liked that old school like Nintendo kind of like theme versus like kind of Xbox and there's even a picture of like a Super Nintendo in there I like the different areas you go into like they're all kind of themed differently with different colors and things like that so the game constantly looks good I like the gameplay you know you it's simple like yeah you you, you aim with uh, you, you bring out your gun with left trigger you aim with the right stick you shoot with right trigger you take cover with B you can kind of like warp in with Y or dash you know basic stuff but it works so well it works so well so I want to you know give props to super mega hyper dimensional mega team I hope I said that right I probably didn't because they made a fantastic game and uh, maybe we're off to a good 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 year on ID at Xbox this, this game is pretty good I know there's a couple other games that came out today uh, being July or January July June January 13th uh, I should have a couple more reviews coming up, a couple more indie spotlights. We'll see, so hopefully, man, you know, never mind the other day, I, I enjoyed that game. Uh, Rise and Shine today, and this game is, is a better game than that. And, you know, hopefully uh, this keeps on getting better. But yeah, guys, uh, wholly rec I highly recommend Rise and Shine. I had a ton of fun playing it. It's $15. If, if, it lists, if this looks like your type of game, pick it up. Just be warned, it's on the short side. Later, guys.